Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Playing for Set Pieces. We are Lilstrom. We're in 11th after 5 games and we've only won one game. It's not great, is it really? Um, we haven't been doing too bad since you last saw us. If we have a quick look at the schedule. Uh, the last game, of course, was our first defeat of the season. Which was against Odd. 4-2 um, away from home. A little bit disappointing in that, to be honest with you. But there you go. They did outplay us. Um, and I believe that Odd are indeed, or were at the least, top. Yeah, the first at the moment. So, they're doing alright. But obviously, after that, we had a 2-2 draw with Stromgod set. Again, kind of wish we'd done better against them. But uh, they did go 1-0 up. We did make it 2-1. And then they made it 2-2 on the 55th minute. Um, we were the stronger side than them. But we are, I don't know, we're getting a bit leaky. A little bit leaky. I actually brought on Amada because McDermott was having such a terrible game. I'm not, I'm honestly not 100% sure about McDermott at the moment. I almost feel like Amada was better. But uh, anyway, after that we had two fantastic results. Uh, the first being 6-0 against Sartsborg 08. Now, we actually looked a lot more like the team we were when we were in uh, the first division last season. So it was nice to see. But yeah, we managed six goals in Arga. Finally got off the mark, finally got his first league goal of the season, um, which is good. I mean, he hasn't been playing badly, he just hasn't been scoring goals, which is unfortunately what we really need him to do. So, hopefully that will be the trigger for the floodgates to open. And after that, we had the Norgesmeschdeskopper first round, where we actually played against uh, one of our affiliates and beat them 5-0. Um, very decent, two from Sol Bakken, but yeah, very decent performance. Can't fault it, really. So, with that sort of form, we're going to carry on. We're now up against Start. Start our 10th in the division, so they're literally the position above us. Um, they've lost two, um, Valerenga and Horgesund, but they have won two, Frederikstad and Ranheim. So, um, they won draws against Tromso. But yeah, so, they're at our level. Theoretically, they have conceded more goals than us, judging by that, and scored less. So... Possibly, 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 we will have half a chance against them. But uh, we will have to see. OK, it's time for Lilstrom away at starts. In goal, it's McDermott, the back four of Kyne Mickelson, Egan Rismark, Sinian and Tudor. Left wing out of Marks, back and central midfield. Krogstad and easy outright is Sidibe. And up front, it's Sol Bakken and Brendan. Arga, unfortunately, missing the match due to injury. So, according to Sungot, we should challenge them to pick up where we left off. That would be nice. Yeah, there we go. Let's see how that goes. Midfield. Take control. And solid defensing. Strikers are already motivated, so I'm not going to say anything extra to them. Let us go to kick off. Lilstrom in the yellow with the black shorts. And, oh no, we're not wearing the all red starter in the yellow and black. That confuses things, doesn't it? That confuses things. All right. Um, full match. And it's a free kick for Lilstrom Krogstad to take it. Oh, it's in the middle. Brendan. Oh, he's disallowed for offside. Slid in there. Oh, well. I thought it was going to be a fantastic start, but not to be Krogstad. Yeah, I see. He was offside at the point that uh, Egan Rismark got ahead to it. Goal kick. For start. So back and puts a ball for Brendan. Brendan can't quite get to it. He was impeded by another player. Couldn't get past him. But that was a lovely ball from Sol Bakken. Goal kick. Sid Bay now on the counter attack for Lilstrom. As you know, young player who's come in. He's actually very, very strong on the right. Got a bright future ahead, Tudor. Having to play right back. And doing very well at it, to be fair. Easy. Making the ball oh, too much. Too much, mate. You can't can't get on the end of that if you put it too far forward. I'm going to say get creative. We're not looking half bad. Sid Bay got onto that one. I'm just going to have a quick look at him. Yeah, as you can see, he's developing nicely. Look at that. Developing absolutely nicely. He's already gained half a star from 
getting a few games in the first team. So, yeah, he's going to be a wunderkind without... Yeah, exciting young prof. He's not far from first team. He's going to be at first team level before this season's out, just you see. But, yeah, we won't be holding on to him for long after that, I'm sure. Westland with a throw-in. Westland again for start, ball forward. Bringaker. Oh, Frigstad. No. I do wonder if we should go a bit more positive, just because. Fredrickson trying to get it in. Odermark's back and Krogstad on the ball. Easy now. Rismark with a ball forward. Brendan just got fouled. That's got to be a free kick. Yeah, he did. He pushed him over. It was a bit naughty. Krogstad. Oh, nobody got on the end of it. Sinian's going to pick up the loose ball. Easy's got it. Odermark's back and saw that one coming. Krogstad. Fouled. We got another free kick. I think Segbo just got telling off. Krogstad, Sidibay. Nobody, none of you finding space really. Egan Rismark did easy. Ball for Odemark's back and oh, he didn't quite get to it. Yeah, you threw balls today easy. Not fantastic. I'm just going to say, you know what, I'm going to go into key highlights. Because we're looking good, aren't we? Let's be honest. Two shots, none on target. Sol back it on the ball now. For Lilstrom. Pulls it back. Odermark's back and easy. Oh, just wide from easy. Good effort, though. Let's demand more. I do wonder if we should actually go pressing because now they're uh, coming back at us. There we go. Come on, Lilstrom. Let's get creative. See if that does anything. Throw him for start. Another ball across for start. But we're defending well. Krogstad now on a counter attack. Lovely run forward. Puts it out wide for Tudor. Tudor finds easy. Easy with a ball in. Sold back and has a go. And it's just over the top. Well. Our performance has definitely dropped, hasn't it? Mind you, theirs isn't fantastic either. Yeah, we're not very good. And I'm going to tell you so. Go on and test, take revenge. Maybe that's the way to go. Um, but yeah, I'm not happy with how everything has dipped. To be honest with you. Oy vey, Mickelson. I am not happy with your performance. Sinian, I am not that happy with your performance. Sidibe, I am not happy with your performance. I know there's a lot more to come from you. Not that happy with your performance. Odermark's back in. I'm not happy with your performance either. And I am really not happy with your performance, old son. And I'm not that happy with you, Mr. Solbacken. Um... I am going to go back to possession. But I'll tell you something I want to do is just have a quick look at the team instructions. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, I wanted to check the tactics too. What is easy playing as? He's on support. All right. Back to the match. Let's get creative. Not seeing enough highlights. Not enjoying this. Okay. Oh. Throw in for start. Frigstad puts the ball over. Krogstad. Odermark's back and with the ball forward. Brendan is clear. He's one on one. And he scores. It's his third goal of the season. He's playing out of position. He likes to be on the right wing. But that sorted his game out. Lovely ball forward from Odermark's back end. And lovely work from Sol back end. Brendan managing to keep ahead of the defenders and still score that. I'd actually argue Olsteen could have done better. I think he got a touch to it. But I will take the goal. 64 minutes. We are 1-0 up. And I'm going to take this opportunity to do some substitutions because 
It's nice to see they've picked up, but Sidibe is not having a good time, and I don't know who I can bring on instead. Well, Odemark's back and can play over there, so I wonder if we should bring on this young man and swap them over. Because, as you know, he can play quite comfortably left wing. He's in development too. Got a lot of potential, this young man. And he's not actually done bad for the first team, so... That might be the way to go. Who else is struggling? Krogstad's not doing amazingly. We could bring on Tongnoi, couldn't we? And we'll put Easy over to... Um, actually can, you know what? Let's keep Tongnoi where he is. How does he feel about being on that side? I can't remember. First to be on the right, of course he does. And a bit easy first to be on the right too. Yes, he does. Well, I'm sorry, Tongnoi, you're just going to have to stay in that position. Oh, and Fran Tudor's not doing great either, is he? We haven't really got anybody to bring on for him either, because we have defender issues. All right, we're just going to go with that and see how things get on. It's a ball forward from start, but only as far as Tudor. Easy's on a run forward now for Lilstrom. Sold back and finds Brendan again, and it's Brendan's fourth goal of the season. Second of the match. Lovely assist from Solbakken. But yeah. Works very nicely. Easy with a lovely run. Solbakken with the ball through. And Brendan puts it home. Brendan's got more goals this season than Arga. Yeah. Don't know what that tells you. But yeah, we'll keep the changes. Coming up to 70 minutes. Oh, it's goal kick. Sinian to Tudor. Tongnoi. Back to Sinian. Tudor again. Where the marks back and Easy. With a ball forward for Brendan to chase. Pulls it back for Easy again. Easy finds Tudor. Tudor into the middle. Easy with a ball over for San Sanio. Was that tipped over? Yes, it was a corner. Lovely effort, boys. Kai Mickelson to take it. Tries to find Sol back and not to be Brendan on the loose ball. He's had a good game, bless him. Because he's playing out of position. Another, oh, it's a throw in. Tudor to easy. Tongnoi, easy. Putting it all the way back for Sinian. And all the way back to McDermott. Egan Rismark. Okay, Edermark's back and with the ball over for Brendan again. He's in the box, got past his man. Not the best of finishes, but that's all right. 75 minutes. Christensen, Westerland for start. Oh, Odemark's back and tackles him. Pulls it back for Easy. Easy's passing it all the way back to Sinian again. This, feel, this feels like exactly the same highlight we just saw. McDermott, Egan Rismark. This time he passes to Kai Mickelson. All of those last four passes were exactly the same up until that point. Easy with a ball forward for Sol Bakken. Oh, he tries one, but uh, keeper gets down for it. Throw in for start. Egan Rismark intercepts that one. Christensen now coming forward. Oh, lovely save from McDermott. 80 minutes. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna demand more just because. Okay, throw in again for start. Christiansen to Westerland. Egan Rismark intercepting that one. Oh, Bringaker. Gets past his man, but we managed to clear it. Walker now on the ball. Another ball forward, cleared by Egan Rismark. Guy Mickelson with a free kick. 
Oh my goodness, it's a crossbar. Tongnoi. Kyan Mickelson again. Will he get across in? No. Sinian. Looking for an outlet. Odermark's back and well, it's full time. That starts nil. Lilstrom two. Um yeah, fifteen, nine on target. That's not bad. That's uh, three wins we've managed now in a row. I'm very happy with that. And two of those, of course, in the league. But passionately, that was a good win. Very happy with that. Okay, we're going to come back for a quick review. We are still in 10th. We are on nine points. Um, we are now one place above start, who were above us before. They're now below us. Um, if we're going to have a look at the fixtures. Um, I'm going to come back again in May, and it's going to be for the Rosenborg game, just because Rosenborg are one of the strongest teams in the division and won it last season. Um, we managed to beat them on penalties for the Meshta final finale. Um, but obviously, we've not played them in the league yet, so uh, I'm kind to keen to see how that goes. It is a home game, but obviously it is a fairly challenging game, but I'm hoping we can keep this decent run of form going. Um, obviously, we've got Norwich Mester Skopper second round coming up at the end of April against Nardo. Nardo are in the Norsk Tipping Ligaen, number five. So, uh, and it looks like they went down last season anyway. So, I don't expect them to be too much of a challenge, which is great. We do have the board expectation, of course, to uh, reach the final. Basically, yeah. Oh no, we got to win the well, we win the master final, which is good. We passed that, and then it's to reach the final of the Norwich Mester Skopper, um, which we are on target for, obviously, because we haven't even we've only played the first game, I think. Anyway, so they're happy. The other thing to mention is though, I still got money lying around. We got fifty-seven point eight thousand to call it fifty-seven seven four seven wage budget but we're still only spending well 10 grand less than that at least in terms of committed spending and we've still got just over half a million in the bank um, I'm not sure 100% what I need I do wonder if we need another striker because um, the only other one we do have really hanging around is uh, or two are unregistered so they're not going to get in which is a bit difficult Got a few unregistered here, but of course they're mostly youth players. Let's just go and have a look at the first team. Because, yeah. Arga's alright, Sol Bakken's alright. And that's pretty much it. So, like I say, Nicholas Castro. I brought him in. He didn't do very well. Did I? Yes, I did bring him in. He didn't do very well. Um, he did better at Frederickstad, to be fair, so I think he's pretty much going to stay there at the moment. But, uh, yeah, going to maybe keep an eye out for a striker because uh, that's an area we are a little bit weak in, I would suggest. Um, Sol Bakken's brilliant, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, let's face it, how long are we going to be keeping him? Maybe for the rest of the season? Maybe. But, yeah, he's up to nine goals. In fact, I do wonder where that leaves us in terms of... Yeah, there he is. He's our top goal scorer, which is fantastic. Um, easy and Ola Sol back with the highest rate in. Most assists is Fran Tudor, of course. Still playing right back. Unfortunately, see right backs we need. Right backs are quite hard to come by. And most player of the match awards, Ola Sol back with three thus far. So, yeah, after that string of results, we're not looking bad. Um, but, yeah, next time we see you, we will be at home to Rosenborg. Thank you very much for watching.